I think you would have to be blind Freddy today to realize that we are in a totally different season uh, when it comes to uh, the world that we're in, uh, the economy that we're in, uh, and the, I guess, the professional sales space that we're also in. Uh, if we go back in time, we can see the journey, uh, the economic journey where we have come from hunter-gatherer, you know, we've come through the agrarian economy, we've come through the industrial economy, uh, the knowledge economy, the technology economy, and we're in a different phase, a different season today. Uh, Seth Godin refers to it as the connection economy. We can also look at it as the imagination era. Uh, there is there is a whole different shift happening out there in the world today. And we need to move the bulk of the sales profession out of the industrial economy, out of the mindset that says, here's my product, let me go out and let me spam people, let me go en masse and let me just knock on every potential door, metaphorically through LinkedIn, however you wanna do it, um, that must stop. We have got to stop selling widgets and we have got to start selling wisdom. The management guru, Peter Drucker, he said back in the industrial economy all those years ago, he said, we need to become, to move forward, we need to become wisdom workers. Dan Pink, in his book, To Sell as Human, he refers to us as being in the wisdom era. And we are. We have got to bring fresh ideas to the table, no matter how scary we have got to bring new ideas to the table. We've got to tap into not just the personal leadership skills we need to be able to do, that we need to be able to do that. We need to tap into our thought leadership skills. And when we can do that and have those deeper conversations, when we can identify what is really important to our buyer, not just for their business, but also for them personally, then we can link the value of our wisdom, the value of our offering to what the buyer's expectations and needs are rather than the other way around. So when we come to the table with this kind of uh, mindset, this kind of approach, it makes it so much easier to articulate outcomes for both parties. And when we do that, we win the business. So on that note, uh, a thought experiment is for you to contemplate, contemplate how you can start to reverse engineer what the buyer needs with what you have to offer and bring some fresh ideas to the table to help you bridge that bit in the middle and help you get buyer buy-in. So on that note, um, have a great day and we will speak to you soon. Bye for now.